Hi there again, William here and welcome to what must be my 10th outing with the Paul Howard fluting jig. Now following on from last week's quite successful project which was a, a simple burr chestnut bowl with some uh, few um, iterations with a 6.3mm cutter. This week I'm going to attempt something quite similar except uh, I'm going to try and make the work a bit finer. I've invested in some new cutters and I, this is the one I intend to use today which is a 3mm uh, cutter and the piece of timber I've pre-chosen is in fact this um, blank which I believe and I'm not quite sure could be Brazilian rosewood. So sequence of events then. Firstly I'm going to turn the outside of the bowl um, and as I've, also, as I've done before, I'm going to leave a central spigot so that I can turn it round once the bowl is hollowed to do the router work. What's this then? 500 subscribers? And what's wrong with Are that? you going to tell me there's 500 people want to watch you hang around in here playing with this? That's pretty unbelievable. So, uh, ignore him, I'm just going to carry on. So, interesting piece of timber actually. Um, it's a kind of a hand-me-down. It's very old. It had some writing on it in pencil, uh, indicating that at some stage, uh, somebody paid uh, three shillings and seven pence for it.
Okay, just about ready to start now with the router. Um, I've set up the router with the 3.2mm cutter, which I've set to about 1mm or half a millimeter deeper than the thickness uh, of the bowl. Um, I've set it uh, so that the routing goes through 90 degrees, as I did in my previous project. And looking at my spreadsheet, um, I've found that uh, 36 iterations with this particular cutter and the diameter we have to play with will give me uh, about uh, just under 5mm gap at the base of the bowl and uh, an 8mm gap at the top of the bowl. Also, I've completed my checks and safety checks. Um, in particular, for me, those things that have gone wrong in the past, I've checked that the index plate is secure, that the chuck is secure, that the project is secure in the chuck. The router table is nice and secure, and most importantly, that the lathe is switched off and unplugged. Okay, the routing work now completed fairly successfully. Uh, next stage is to reverse it on the chuck again and turn out the spigot. I gave this piece about uh, four or five coats of melamine lacquer, actually denibbing a couple of times with 0000 grade wire wool, and the finish is actually very nice. That's it then. Logo in. A very pretty little bowl. In, I still think it's uh, Brazilian rosewood. 30 flutes. Nice shine with melamine lacquer. Thanks for watching. See you next time.